Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In condensed matter physics, Bloch's theorem states that solutions to the Schrodinger equation in a periodic potential can be expressed as plane waves modulated by periodic functions. The theorem is named after the Swiss physicist Felix Bloch, who discovered the theorem in 1929. Mathematically, they are written where r is position, psi is the wave function u is. A periodic function with the same periodicity as the crystal, the wave vector k is the crystal momentum vector, e is Euler's number, and i is the imaginary unit. Functions of this form are known as block functions or block states and serve as a suitable basis for the wave functions or states of electrons in crystalline solids. The description of electrons in terms of block functions, termed block electrons, or less often block waves, underlies the concept of electronic band structures. These eigenstates are written with subscripts as psi nk, where n is a discrete index called the band index, which is present because there are many different wave functions with the same k. Each has a different periodic component. U, within a band, i.e. for fixed n, psi nk varies continuously with k, as does its energy. Also, psi nk is unique only up to a constant reciprocal lattice vector k, or psi nk equals psi nk plus k. Therefore, the wave vector k can be restricted to the first Brillouin zone of the reciprocal lattice without loss of generality. Applications and consequences applicability, the most common example of Bloch's theorem is describing electrons in a crystal, especially in characterizing the crystal's electronic properties, such as electronic band structure. However, a Bloch wave description applies more generally to any wave-like phenomenon in a periodic medium. For example, a periodic dielectric structure in electromagnetism leads to photonic crystals, and a periodic acoustic medium leads to phononic crystals. It is generally treated in the various forms of the dynamical theory of diffraction. Wave vector suppose an electron is in a block state psi, r equals eik r u r, where u is periodic with the same periodicity as the crystal lattice. The actual quantum state of the electron is entirely determined by psi, not k or u directly. This is important because k and u are not unique. Specifically, if psi can be written as above using k, it can also be written using k plus k, where k is any reciprocal lattice vector, see figure at right. Therefore, wave vectors that differ by a reciprocal lattice vector are equivalent in the sense that they characterize the same set of block states. The first Brillouin zone is a restricted set of values of k with the property that no two of them are equivalent, yet every possible k is equivalent to one and only one vector in the first Brillouin zone. Therefore, if we restrict k to the first Brillouin zone, then every block state has a unique k. Therefore, the first Brillouin zone is often used to depict all of the block states without redundancy, for example, in a band structure, and it is used for the same reason in many calculations. When k is multiplied by the reduced Planck constant, it equals the electron's crystal momentum. Related to this, the group velocity of an electron can be calculated based on how the energy of a block state varies with k. For more details, see crystal momentum. Detailed example for a detailed example in which the consequences of Bloch's theorem are worked out in a specific situation. See the article particle in a one-dimensional lattice, periodic potential. Statement a second and equivalent way to state the theorem is the following proof using lattice periodicity being Bloch's theorem a statement about lattice periodicity. In this proof, all the symmetries are encoded as translation symmetries of the wave function itself. Using operators in this proof, all the symmetries are encoded as commutation properties of the translation operators. Using group theory apart from the group theory technicalities, this proof is interesting because it becomes clear how to generalize the block theorem for groups that are not only translations. This is typically done for space groups, which are a combination of a translation and a point group, and it is used for computing the band structure, spectrum, and specific heats of crystals given a specific crystal group symmetry, like FCC or BCC, and eventually an extra basis. 365 to 367 in this proof, it is also possible to notice how it is key that the extra point group is driven by a symmetry in the effective potential, but it shall commute with the Hamiltonian. In the generalized version of the Bloch theorem, the Fourier transform, 
i.e. the wave function expansion, gets generalized from a discrete Fourier transform, which is applicable only for cyclic groups, and therefore translations, into a character expansion of the wave function, where the characters are given from the specific finite point group. Also here is possible to see how the characters, as the invariance of the irreducible representations, can be treated as the fundamental building blocks instead of the irreducible representations themselves. Velocity and effective mass. If we apply the time-independent Schrodinger equation to the block wave function, we obtain h caret k u k r equals 2 2 m minus i nabla plus k 2 plus u r u k r equals epsilon k u k r with boundary conditions u k r equals u k r plus r. Given this is defined in a finite volume, we expect an infinite family of eigenvalues here. K is a parameter of the Hamiltonian, and therefore we arrive at a continuous family of eigenvalues epsilon k, dependent on the continuous parameter k, and thus at the basic concept of an electronic band structure. This shows how the effective momentum can be seen as composed of two parts, p caret eff equals minus i nabla plus k, a standard momentum minus i nabla, and a crystal momentum k. More precisely, the crystal momentum is not a momentum, but it stands for the momentum in the same way as the electromagnetic momentum in the minimal coupling and as part of a canonical transformation of the momentum. For the effective velocity, we can derive for the effective mass the quantity on the right multiplied by a factor 1, 2 is called effective mass tensor, mk. And we can use it to write a semi-classical equation for a charge carrier in a band where it is an acceleration. This equation is analogous to the de Broglie wave type of approximation as an intuitive interpretation. Both of the previous two equations resemble formally and are in a semi-classical analogy with Newton's second law for an electron in an external Lorentz force. History and related equations, the concept of the Bloch state was developed by Felix Bloch in 1928 to describe the conduction of electrons in crystalline solids. The same underlying mathematics, however, was also discovered independently several times by George William Hill, 1877, Gaston Floquet, 1883, and Alexander Lyapunov, 1892. As a result, a variety of nomenclatures are common. Applied to ordinary differential equations, it is called Floquet theory, or occasionally the Lyapunov Floquet theorem. The general form of a one dimensional periodic potential equation is Hill's equation d2y dt2 plus ft, y equals zero, where ft is a periodic potential. Specific periodic one-dimensional equations include the chronic, penny model, and Matthews equation. Mathematically, Bloch's theorem is interpreted in terms of unitary characters of a lattice group and is applied to spectral geometry.